Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into your general reading. Any information you need to book a personal reading will be in the description. If you want to see future readings on my live shows, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And oh, feel free to hit the like button and leave me a comment below to let me know how this video resonated with you, what other video topics you guys want to see, um, and all of that. But let's get straight into it. Virgos, What's the general energy around them. So first card we have is the King of Wands. So you could be trying your best to contain any anger, irritation that you could have, okay? I see you guys also being very weary of what energy you're taking in or the energy around you as a whole, like in the workplace. Maybe you sense that maybe there's people around you who are in silent competition with you and are like trying to upstage you in, in a way. Uh, you could also realize in a lot of ways, you staying motivated and you staying on top of just managing your own energy and what you're taking in can essentially keep you in a productive space because you could be trying your best to stay in that energy of being motivated, being action driven and not just like saying that you want to do things, but actually doing it. So you guys are going to be walking the walk and talking the talk, if that makes sense <laughs> and, and trying your best stay away from people with passive aggressive energy i also have the four of pinnacles so saving is also another thing you guys are trying to tap into you could be trying to have a good balance between like the money that's going in and the money that's coming out do you have good saving habits or do you cling on to money out of a fear of it not being replaceable or you being able to make more a good balance between like i said the given or not give and take but how money flows in and out is something you're, you're starting to see is essential. Also, if you've been just kind of holding on to your way of doing things or holding on to outdated, outdated friendships, outdated eating habits too. Like you could be realizing that you really need to close yourself off to eating certain things because it could be affecting your like physical body. Okay. Hmm. So you guys want to get out more. If you've been more of in this isolation energy or staying to yourself, you could be really wanting to connect with newer people. You could also start to realize that someone who you're really interested in, a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual could be very closed off. Or you could still be a little bit closed off in your energy. Okay, I also have the chariot. And I have the Three of Swords. So I see you guys moving on from any disappointment, though, that you have been extremely focused on. You could start to also learn some valuable lessons from something not working out. Like, you could start to see that although you and an ex breaking up was definitely heartbreaking, it may have been what you needed so that you could get back on the path of success or back on the path of focusing on the things that more so matter to you. Okay. You could also start to see what would have happened if you did end up dating this person and if you didn't move on. And it could be something where you're like, you know, thank God that situation ended the way that it ended. I also have the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Hmm. So there's this strong energetic connection that you could feel to someone. This looks like a friend or someone who you have more of a casual relationship with where you guys aren't necessarily together, but the connection is there. You guys both, both may be aware of it. Okay, some of you guys also could meet someone new through a mutual friend. This could be like at a party, an event. You could be out having fun with your friends and then you end up connecting with someone within the next couple of weeks or so. So definitely look out for that. Mm. Some of you guys also may reconnect with somebody through like mutual friends you guys may share. So you could maybe hear from an ex or somebody who you have like a 
again, a connection with previously, and they could maybe be reaching out through a friend or you see them through a friend. Hmm. You could also start to realize who genuinely supports you in your endeavors. You could have certain friends where maybe they aren't genuine in terms of like supporting you. And when you have accomplishments, that's the only time that they may be wanting to be around you. And it may make you side eye people like, okay, are you genuinely my friend? Hmm. I see you guys also putting your foot down. If you have if you have a love interest that lets other people influence the way that they operate in the relationship with you, you could be saying no more of that. Like laying the law law down and making it clear that you don't want other people to keep having their input in your relationship. Okay, let's keep going. What's the message for my Geminis? From their spiritual team so we have solitude i said gemini's i meant to say virgos i'm sorry guys i, I don't know why i just thought about a gemini <laughs> virgos virgos i'm sorry okay i have the wizard of awareness i don't know why i was looking at that card and thinking about gemini's anyway so with the wizard of awareness here virgos it says your soul knows best be still and observe Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes in the world or goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside yourself, stepping into the observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as the loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another and a continual shifting and change is no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to keep your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. So, yes, this is stepping into a space of awareness of who you are, your your situation, the people. And that's what I'm kind of getting from this whole entire reading. I think that the more that you tap into a sense of literal awareness of where you fit in in the grand scheme of the world itself and how you feel in the inside and who you are, the more that you're going to be able to use your surroundings to your benefit. Okay, but this is pretty much what I'm seeing. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, Virgos.